it's Sherry. I am back with Hecate's Needle. And it's Halloween day. And it is a gray stormy day here. Uh, right now we have a break in the storms. So I figured now was the time to get this filming done since we actually have sunlight for a minute. Um, I am joined by the lovely Artemis who is sleeping off her morning of panic <laughs> because the thunders were coming to get her and by a sleepy little jelly bean who is on Artemis's bed because where else would you be, right? Um, but anyway, welcome to my craft room. I would like to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I notice I do have a few new ones. Thank you. I'm so glad you discovered me and decided to join my tiny little community on the internet. Um, I, I welcome everyone. Um, anyway, so we have some cross stitch, no sewing, no gardening, a little bit of life. Um, and that's about it. it, it it's probably going to be a short video today, but that's okay. It's okay. Um, anyway, we'll start with cross stitch. Now for cross stitch, I have progress. I do have a new start and I have just a tiny bit of haul. Not a lot, just a tiny bit. Um, but we'll start with the new start. It is being housed in my Hecate bag from Little Boat 88, maybe? I think that's what the little tag says. Uh, this was gifted to me by Laura from I Stitch Birds. And it is my Riolis, The Magic of Time. Now, this one is going to be a Christmas present for my son, so it needs to be done by Christmas, because after the first of the year, he's off to Germany, and I don't want to have to ship it. I'd rather him just take it with him. <laughs> I am using all of the kit materials. I'm not making any changes. I'm not making any alterations. It's going to be just the kit materials. It's 14 count plain black Ada and anchor floss now i only worked on this for one day uh, and i only worked on it for a couple of hours or for about an hour i think because cheeto was being particularly needy that day but this is what i've gotten done as you can see i'm working on the hourglass um, the hourglass is the only cross stitched part of it. The rest of it is all back stitch and back stitch goes quick for me. So I'm not worried about it. I think I will be done with this fairly quickly. I don't really predict that it will be taking that long. Um, my needle minder came off of it. But in any case, that's what I've gotten done thus far. It's a good start, especially for only, you know, working on it for about an hour. But like I said, Cheeto was being very needy that day and insisted he needed my attention. The cross stitch did not. So, he got his attention and lots and lots of love. He has, you know, my little feral boy has turned into a complete snuggle bug. He is a lap cat. Well, only if it's mama's lap, though. Nobody else's. Don't ask me why. But he's latched on to me. Which is fine. I, and it's probably because I'm the one who's with him all the time, not my husband. But anyway. On to progress. Now, the first one... I had mentioned before that I was going to be spinning the wheel again because I'm tired 
I'm tired of working on all of the stitch alongs and nothing else. So I spun the wheel last week and it landed on Treasure Island by Al Forest. Now this was last year's stitch along, obviously. Um, and I started it after the stitch along had already begun. I knew I wasn't going to catch up. I knew I wasn't going to keep up. And that's okay. I was just doing it, not, not so much as a stitch along, but just as a regular project. Um, but when you saw it last time, I had made a mistake. Um, my guy, my first little guy, one of the motifs, this guy, he was all cattywampus. He didn't look right. He had issues. <laughs> he had serious issues. I had stitched him, ripped him out, stitched him, ripped him out, stitched him, ripped him out. After the fourth time of stitching him and him still being wrong, I just said, the hell with it. I'm not doing this anymore. Unfortunately, that's all well and good, but I can't stand it because I knew he was wrong. And that's all I could see when I looked at the project. So I sat down and finally found the mistake and ripped it out and stitched it over. And now, as you can see, he's fine. He's correct. Now, I'm not doing the back stitching in the face because they, they had red floss and given him some kind of Bozo the Clown thing going on, and I wasn't about that. So I'm not doing that. I did the eyes, and that's that's all it, all I'm going to do. I, I can't I can't go with the, no, mm -mm, no, we're not, ha we're not having that. But anyway, he is done. And the mistake, no lie, was this one dark stitch in his hair where his little, I guess, the hair band for his ponytail is. That stitch was off, and everything underneath it was <laughs> off because of it. Once I discovered that and fixed that one dark stitch, everything else stitched up fine. <laughs> so go figure. But I'm happy. It's fixed. It's repaired. He doesn't he, he no longer has issues. <laughs> but after I got him all fixed, I went on to work some more on this ship. Now, before, when you'd seen it, I had the wooden framework done in the brown. And now I'm filling in the sails. So, progress on this one, finally. Hard one progress. <laughs> Now, this is being stitched on a 16-count Ada that I tea-dyed myself, just to give it kind of an aged look. Um, I'm, I'm using DMC, all DMC floss. And I really don't mind stitching it. Now, I'm not a huge fan of stitching people, but obviously, it's based on a book. It's kind of hard to have a story with no characters. So that's okay. I'll stitch the guys. And I don't mind stitching the guys as long as I don't mess them up. <laughs> and there's not some kind of hideous deformed creature. <laughs> but that's my treasure island. Now the next one I worked on is being housed in my veggie bag. Because we like veggies. I made it myself, and this is the Stitch Crypt, A Study of Skulls. Now, I am stitching this one as a companion piece to my femurs and fungi that I did earlier this year and finished. Um, this is a stitch along. I am up to date. I am caught up completely and I'm just waiting for the next piece to come out but here's what we have thus far now the two pieces I stitched were the plant with its little shelf and then the photo of the 
the skull. But that's where we're at thus far. And the new piece comes out. I can never remember if it's Fridays or Mondays. But in any case, either tomorrow or Monday, I'll get the next piece and I can fill that in. But I am keeping up with this one. It will be done. Um, it is being stitched on a 14 count Ada that I dyed myself. So, and just DMC floss, nothing fancy. I'm not making any changes. Those are the called for colors and everything. And the last one that I made progress on, you guessed it, we got Mario. We've got the baby Mario. Now, let me see if I can find the picture. We have... Baby Mario. This is a pattern by Koala T Stitch. And this is going to be a Christmas present for my daughter. Now it is being housed in the Mario bag that I made myself out of scraps from when I made her a Mario nightgown <laughs> but I thought it was appropriate for a baby Mario stitch now when you saw it last time it looked like this I had finished the entire top half of it oh I've got cat hair in my eyeball um now I've begun working over here. I've got another star filled in. I've filled in a lot more of his face and some more of the hat. Um, I, I have not outlined them because I ran out of the DMC 550, which is the outline. So Saturday I'll run up to Hobby Lobby and get some more of that. Um, this, this pattern takes a lot of 550 because all of the outlines are 550 but i can still fill in the color blocks and then just fill in the outline afterward once i get the 550 from hobby lobby this weekend but that's what i've gotten done this is being stitched on a 14 count ada it is a charles craft and it is sunset it's one of their printed fabrics it is tones of pink and purple not that you can tell in this light. Lovely. But pink and purple is the color of her bedroom. So I figured that would be perfect. And since this is actually not a red red, it, it, it actually goes with the pink and purple colors fairly well. So. So I've made progress on that one. Now, I actually put in... Let's see. I put in another 1,035 stitches, which puts me at 67% done. So, making progress. It, it will be done by Christmas. Now, I'm probably going to have to just really focus on these two Christmas projects and the study of skulls. I'm not going to get behind on that one um, until these are done and put everything else on hold because of Christmas. Because tomorrow's November. I'm running out of time. So, those are the projects I made progress on. Um, now, I haven't been shopping, but I do have a tiny bit of a haul. And that's courtesy of my husband. Uh, I woke up this morning, and he gave me my Halloween gifts. Um, as I mentioned last time, my youngest child is 30 years old. We don't trick-or-treat. We live out in the country. We don't have trick-or-treaters. Um, so basically, what we do is we just buy each other. You know, well, we buy my daughter. Usually, we'll get her a couple of, of, of toys. 
or games, whatever, and some candy. And then we buy each other just little gifts. I got him two t-shirts um, and a bag of Skittles because he loves Skittles. Um, but he got me. First, he got me the Starlight Stitchery Grimoire Box. I did an unboxing video this morning when I opened it. I've already posted it, so I'm still trying to figure out how to add cards because I go through the steps and it tells me, okay, at what time do you want this card to pop up? And I put the time in there and it says saved, good to go, and then they never pop up. But I'm going to try again. I'm going to keep trying. If I can figure it out, there will be a card here somewhere for you to watch the unboxing that I posted this morning. If there's not a card, it's on my channel. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying. Uh, but they're not cooperating at all. But he got me the Grimoire box by Starlight Stitchery, which is a good box. Um, the colors of floss were gorgeous. I love them. The other two things he got me... He got me by Design Works Black Cat. I love it. Look at all of these bright colors. I love it. I cannot wait to start stitching that one. And then he got me by Design Works Haunted House. And again, look at these colors. I love it gorgeous so he got me both of those those I'm really excited about as well now that's all my haul as I said with holidays coming up I'm trying not to shop unless there's just something I need like the DMC 550 for the baby Mario otherwise I'm, I'm really trying not to shop that being said I am not immune to sales. <laughs> I'm really not. I try, but I'm not. Um, but at this point in time, I'm not shopping. I'm trying to avoid it. Um, plans for now. My plans are to really focus on these Christmas, Christmas gifts. I will be working on those two exclusively with the study of skulls and the beautiful biomes tomorrow the new piece for the beautiful biomes will come out but again that's like one stitching session and that's done um the study of skulls one stitching session that's done so the rest of my time i can spend working on my christmas stitching and then once those are done i'm free to work on whatever but i need to really focus on those so that's gonna be my focus for the month of November. Now, um, on to sewing. There's none. <laughs> that was easy. Done. There's none. Gardening. None. Okay. <gasps> no sewing or gardening this this time. Um. And now we'll get on to life so that I can explain why. On my kit parade, I showed y'all a kit that I have. And it says, I'm not a hot mess. I'm a spicy disaster. And I told you that is me in a nutshell. And it is. Now, the last two weeks, let me explain. Now, most of this two week period, I have not been able to stitch, which is why there is so little progress, okay? First thing that happened, I don't know where Artemis found it. I don't know what she got into. Once the storms are over, my husband has to search out the yard, but she got into some poison ivy and loved all up on me. So my legs were covered in poison ivy. Now, I don't know if you've ever had poison ivy, but it's miserable. Okay, 
So while that was going on, I was starting to get better and healing up from that. My husband and I, we generally go for a walk every evening after we eat dinner. We went out for a walk. Well, my husband's like, I feel something on me. Is there something on me? Well, it was dark outside. So I just kind of brushed my hand over his back. And I didn't feel anything. But then I got stung here. And it's still a little red. It's still a little bit red. By a hornet. <laughs> this whole section of my arm swelled up so huge and hurt so bad. It literally felt like I had been kicked by a mule. Um, it was awful. And it was hard for me to bend my arm. Now, it, it's, it's pretty much gone by now. There's just a little bit of tenderness here. That, that's all that's left. But anyway, so I had that. Well, obviously with that going on, I couldn't really stitch a lot or sew. That's why there's no sewing. There's no gardening because of the poison ivy and the, the, the hornet sting. That just wasn't going to happen. So I thought, okay, well, I'll work on something else. I went upstairs to get something. Stairs hate me, by the way. I fell down the stairs. <laughs> don't ask me how or why. I don't know. But um, as you can see, I'm all bruised up. I've got bruises on the back of my hand, my arms, my legs. My husband has now grounded me. He says, you are grounded until I can take you out in public without being arrested for spousal abuse. <laughs> I had a knot on my head. I mean, it was bad. So that's why there's no progress on sewing or gardening. <laughs> because life is trying to kill me off. But I'm healing. I'm getting better. Okay. <laughs> oh, and when I fell down the stairs, I twisted the same ankle for the third time. <laughs> but that's healing. I'm getting better. So now I can go back to stitching and everything. So I don't know what to tell you. That's been my life. Okay. I don't know. It's a thing. But anyway. So there hasn't been a whole lot of progress on anything really. But now that I'm healing up, I can start getting back on it because I still have all my Christmas sewing to do too. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on here. That's all that's going on. As I said, it's going to be a short video this time. I don't know what to tell you, but anyway, that's what I've got. That's what I've been working on. I am, like I said, I'm probably going to put spinning the wheel off until I get these two Christmas projects finished. I think the Baby Mario is going to take longer than the Magic of Time. Uh, the Magic of Time, the only part that's cross-stitched is the hourglass. So the back, the black, you know, the black work, back stitch, whatever you want to call it, all along the outside of it, that's not going to take me long. But anyway, that's what's going on here. Um, as I said, you know, thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to my old subscribers. I love all of you. I am so happy to have you join me here in my little clumsy craft room. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you saw something you like, um, you want to see how else I try to kill myself in the future? <laughs> see my progress on my, my Christmas gifts and things like that? Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I love your comments. I read and answer every one of them. Uh, the two giveaway winners have already answered me. Um, one of them, the one who won the, the pattern, she's already gotten it. She got it today. Just in time. Yay! Uh, the other one, although, had to go to the UK, so she won't get it 
the bag, she won't get that for, you know, a hot minute because postal service. <laughs> but it's already been sent. It's on its way. It's winging its way across, across the ocean. Um, and hopefully she loves it when she gets it. Anyway, that's all. That's all I've got today. I am going to try to get this uploaded. Hopefully the storms won't knock out my internet. <laughs> Living in an unincorporated area as I do, internet can be spotty. So, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. We'll see how it works. Um, but until next time, um, two weeks from now, unless something happens, but two weeks from now, I'll see you again. And hopefully, maybe I'll even have, you know, a Christmas present finished. <laughs> fingers crossed <laughs> and hopefully I won't be looking like you know a an accident victim <laughs> like I got hit by a bus <sighs> um but anyway everyone have a wonderful weekend have a safe Halloween night enjoy whatever you're gonna do to celebrate the thinning of the veil and I hope to see you in two weeks Happy Halloween.